Hey, what's up guys? Major HD here. Uh, sorry I haven't been uh, uploading the past three days. Um, just, you know, a lot of stuff I have to deal with in my personal life. And, um, just been, yeah, really busy. So I'm, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded, um, but I'm getting back to it now. Um, and we'll start off here with the Eva Air 747400 by um, JC Wings and a 1-200 scale. Uh, check the description in case you missed anything in this video. Um, my Facebook and Twitter links will be down there. And I pre-ordered this from easytoys.com. Their website will also be down in the description. This is my 11th 747 model. And my 4th Eva Air model. Some information about Eva Air. The name Eva Air is derived from its parent company, Evergreen Airways, which is part of the shipping conglomerate Evergreen Group. The operations base is out of Luzu in Taoyuan City in Taiwan. So if I pronounce any of these wrong. Um, main hub is Taiwan Taoyuan International Airport, secondary hubs. Uh, Kaohsiung International Airport and Suvarnabhumi Airport in Bangkok. They were founded on March 9, in March 1989 and since then they are known as the world's third safest airline and have had no incidents. Their fleet size as of the 11th of November 2015 uh, consists of 64 aircraft, 11 are 747s, 3 are passenger versions and the other 8 are freighters. They uh, serve 74 destinations and the first flight of this aircraft was on the 7th of January 1998 and delivered to Eva Airways on the 19th of January 1998. Bond customer code for Eva Air is 5E. Okay, so let's take a look around the box here. So the Eva Air titles and picture of two models because one has the uh, at the time before you know the new colours came out. Um, they uh, this was called the new livery where they. One had um, the, I think, Chinese or Cantonese writing was Taiwan, in Taiwan uh, there, um, and then this was the new livery. Uh, I end up getting the new one because um, I have triple sevens that already have it. Have it. J C Wings logo. Top of the box. bottom. Now let's take a look inside. This was um, released on the B-Box which says to me that it wasn't, or well, it's not a licensed model, um, but it's still released by JC Wings themselves. And there's the model. Alright guys, so we now have the model out of the box and we'll side here at the cockpit windows on the port side. Okay, so we see the cockpit windows, window wipers, uh, nose comb, Star Alliance logo because they're a member of uh, Star Alliance which is a group of 27 airlines. Then beneath that we have the registration B16410 or Bravo 16410, pedo tube, static ports, gear door, we have 10 which is part of the registration number. You can also see just there at the front, it's pointed out here, right there, the little um, crystal looking thing, that little plastic thing, that is the um, nose gear landing light. They put realistic landing lights on this model which is awesome. EV air titles. And the realistic inboard landing lights um, done a really good job. This is uh, a general sorry General Electric CF6 80C2B1F engine. Awesome looking engines. This is tied as my best engine on the 747 uh, 400. Uh, along with the RB211, so print with needs not so much. Ok, 
Okay. Obviously, uh, okay, the engine spin. Uh, obviously, the uh, JT9 engines, um, you know, with the, with the engines that started the 747, uh, the original 747, but um, they're probably my all-time favourite engines for the 747. And they all spin. Okay, that's good. Didn't expect anything less. Okay. Now come along the leading edge to the winglet. Got the Eva colours there along with the red navigation light. Back onto the fuselage we have uh, these little um, red uh, kind of squares I guess but um, they're the cut for emergency sections for emergency crews to get through Boeing 747-400 Evergreen Group and the registration and the Eva Air logo on the tail now let's look at the APU very well done and just beneath the APU you see this little piece of sticking out it's not not uh, it's not like it's been a rough finish that's um they're the markings for the strobe lights okay now on the uh, starboard side so we see cockpit windows star lines logo registration pedo tube static ports part of registration number on the gear door if air titles, front cargo container door underneath the air uh, wording, realistic landing lights, the awesome CF6 engine, and the winglet with the green navigation light. Back onto the fuselage, we see the rear cargo container door, bog bin door. Boeing 747-400 Evergreen Group Registration Number and the logo on the tail Ok Let's take a look underneath So we have the nose gear Antenna Another antenna just there. There. Beacon light, hole for the stand, main gears and the gear doors. Underneath the wing, flaps, slats, and ailerons. Right here, this little piece sticking out. That's the fuel dump valve. Underneath the engines. On the other side, basically everything's the same, but with the registration number. And continuing down, we have two more antennas. These two squares, they are the cabin pressure relief systems to vent. Um, all the you know cabin air so they're basically the pressure flow rate of valves um, antenna and down to the APU housing so there's the pilot's emergency exit above the emergency hatch anti-collision beacon Antenna there, a few painted on antennas. Then we have the painted on ADF antennas. Top of the wing, flaps, slats, ailerons, and spoilers. Top view of the engine. Same on this side.
Okay, continuing down we have the SATCOM antenna and horizontal stabilizers. Just two faint grey dots there, those two grey dots. Again, focus and same on the side, you see those two there. They are the logo lights that light up the tail at night time. Okay, now seating. Sorry, let's bring this, actually, bring this in closer. Okay, so one configuration. And on the main deck, we have premium Laurel, which is 36 angle flat seats, rows 6 to 8 and 10 to 13. That's from here, the nose to here. And then we have Elite, 56 recliner seats, rows 20 to 26. That is here to here. And here to here is Economy, 220 seats. Rows 45 to 70, and on the upper deck is all economy 60 seats, rows 80 to 89, and that brings a total to 372 seats. Okay, so some features of this model now. Landing gear does roll. One of the tires, one of the, just the rubber tire bit, um, came off because uh, it didn't have a little uh, plastic thing over it to hold it in so I just had to glue it on but it, it still rolls I just glued the outside of it on there um, but I think there is one that's actually stuck one of the gears but the rest of them do roll quite nicely sounds kind of squeaky um, they do kind of want to come off like they typically do with JC Wings or Gemini Jets models and then we have uh, front gear does swivel you can see there and tilting landing gear Obviously only tilts on the back too, not the not the middle two. Okay, so now I'll put it on the stand for you guys. And uh, first off here is the stand. Eva Air Sim Force Sim 400, scale 1 to 200. The back is not much. You've got the blue film, which I'm just going to peel off now. And there we have it, reveals a nice shiny metal back. Got the padding on top of the stand to um, protect the model underneath so it doesn't scratch it. Okay. And there she is, it looks great, doesn't it? Um, And uh, you know when you uh, want it in the in-flight configuration, you can take the gears out because they they are magnetic, so they come off really easily like that. I'll just try and get this one back in right there. So they all come off really easily, and if you want it in the in-flight position, you've got the gear doors just here, with little toothpick-like things to take them out afterwards. All right, guys. So um. I hope you enjoyed this review, it's such a beautiful model, uh, I highly recommend getting it. Um, and JC Wing's quality on this M47s is just uh, great, it's it's a far ahead of the game, it's even been the likes of in-flight, um, so definitely, definitely one to think about getting. Um, my next review, by the way, is the Turkish Airlines 777-300ER Istanbul to San Francisco livery. Then I have, uh, if you've been checking my updates on Facebook and Twitter, uh, I've got you know China Airlines, Garuda, Air Force One, and then I've got two A340s, which are Etihad and Thai, uh, coming up as well by Phoenix. So yeah, you don't want to miss those. Um, so if you did enjoy, please leave a like on this video, comment, tell me what you think, tell me if you're going to get this model. Um, subscribe for more. As I said, I've got a lot more. Uh, also got some um, spotting videos and other in-flight videos which I was supposed to get out ages ago um, but they're on the way and share this video so other people can know about it and see if they want to get this model because it's 
you know, definitely one to uh, consider getting. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you next time.